Hi, my name is Charlotte and I'm the Publishing Officer at UWA Publishing and this is the first episode of our new vlog where we will be talking about some of our upcoming books. You can follow the conversation on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at the tag UWA Publishing and any links or articles that I mention I'll pop into the description uh, of the video on YouTube. So the first episode will talk about our first books for 2017 and February has so many releases that I'm actually going to split it into two episodes, the first for prose and the second for our poetry books. So that means we have two books to talk about today. The first is The Circle and the Equator by Kyra Georgie, which is her debut work of fiction. And it's a collection of short stories that actually won the highly commended place in our first Dorothy Hewitt Award for an unpublished manuscript in 2015. So we're really excited about this release. Um, the stories in The Circle and the Equator are, as it says on the back of the book, from the articulation points in history. So they're moments of conflict, of political unrest, and moments of great change in the world. They go from Russia to Berlin to Angola, all across the world, which is the reference um, in the title, The Circle and the Equator, referencing the globe. And it really does have that global feel. We meet so many different characters with so many different stories. Um, the thing that's beautiful about The Circle and the Equator and something that really stood out to the judges when they were judging the Dorothy Hewitt Award is how um, Kyra blends both the political, uh, the historical and the global, this kind of macro level, and writes it into the personal. So they're very detailed stories about the lives of these people as they live through these moments in history. Um, one of the most beautiful images that I found in the book is actually the opening of the second story, Soft Ground, where a man in Berlin in 1921 is looking at his pair of socks that took him through the First World War and the history contained in these socks. It's a very, very beautiful image and kind of brings this world event down to this tiny micro level of the everyday detail. And that's something that Kyra does really, really well and something that got us really excited about her debut book. Um, the reviews are already starting to come out. The Adelaide Review, David Sornig reviewed for the Adelaide Review, um, called it consistently original and memorable, and we'd have to agree. Books and Publishing named Kyra as an author to look out for, um, and we will hopefully be seeing her a lot more from her um, in the coming years. So, Circle in the Equator, I'll pop the link to the book and those reviews uh, in the description, and yeah, highly recommended. So, the second for our um, prose, for February 2017 is a very, very different book. It's You're Not Rob Snarsky by Rob Snarsky. Now, people will know Rob as the um, front man for the Black Eyed Susans. He's also played in some legendary bands such as the Triffids, Chad's Tree, and Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. So, um, really excited about his first book. It is um, memoir but it's a life in fragments, so it's not a conventional memoir. It's these sort of stories and snippets and images um, from his life that kind of shift back and forth in the way sort of reminiscent of how memory works. So we are, you know, in 1980s uh, Perth and then we move to Melbourne, we move overseas and we move back again. Um, in the way that people often recall stories in conversation, the way they shift back in time, memories that stand out, people that stand out, the way music, um, adventure, love, art has infused Rob's life. And it, it's a very, very beautiful read. Um, the title, You're Not Rob Snarsky, which is um, quite clever and wonderful, I think, actually comes from the anecdote that started the whole project. So Rob was um, reminiscing on social media one day and he was writing about this time he was at an uh, event at Reading's bookstore in Carlton in Melbourne. And a little boy came up to him after he'd uh, sort of spoken to the crowd at, at, at the bookstore 
um, and he said, you're not Rob Snarsky. And I might just read the first fragment, um, which is very special, which opens the book and, in fact, started the whole writing of the book. You're not Rob Snarsky, said the young boy, staring up at me. He sounded certain, looked slightly puzzled and more than a little disappointed by my existence. Yes, I am. It's just that I've gone and grown a moustache and I'm wearing glasses, I responded, not exactly sounding sure of myself. No, you're not Rob Snarsky, he repeated, convinced I wasn't me, staring deep past my spectacles. It was an awkward, perplexing moment, and this little kid was making me feel just a tad anxious. Maybe I'm not Rob Snarsky. But then again, why am I standing here in the middle of reading book, Reading's bookstore, Carlton, with a guitar slung over my shoulder, singing songs from Wounded Bird and Low Fidelity, alongside the travel section, on a makeshift stage whilst everybody else is sampling the free wine and flicking through the CD racks, grazing for a new purchase? After I sang six songs or so, trying to convince myself I was who I thought I was, the boy again came up to me. OK, you are Rob Snarsky. Thanks for singing The Black Caress. That's my favourite. Then he followed with some quick-fire questions. What's your favourite song? Who's your favourite band? Are you your favourite singer? Well, let me have a think about all that. He told me he liked Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody was his favourite song of all time. Hmm, quite an epic for a lad of ten, I thought. His mother and I then began chatting, discussing the possibility of an acoustic house concert, and before I had the chance to notice, everybody else in the shop who'd come to hear some songs had drifted off into the night, and I remained standing there, wondering if I was who I think I am. The book, another thing to mention about your Rob's you're not Rob Snarsky, is that the book is interspersed with these um, black and white photographs um, from various periods in, in Rob's life, some band photographs, some family photographs, posters um, from gigs, uh, kind of reminiscent um, of that music biography um, genre and memoir genre um, such as Entrain by Patti Smith and Just Kids where the black and white photographs intersperse the text and talk to the text. Um, so it really is a series of fragments that together um, build up a picture of Rob's life that, that's really enchanting. So those are our two prose works for February. Um, there are a number of poetry books that I'll talk about in the next episode. And again, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>